smoking sports. We missed a few weeks. Let some shit happen. Let some shit go down and Let all that. Go down. But I want to start this off, bro. I got. I got to. I got to defend my man Dion, bro. Oh uh, yeah, bro. yeah. I mean, and I don't even see it as being like controversial and shit, cause I feel like it's a small percentage who's like, "Oh, Dion wrong" and all that. How the fuck, fuck. Dion wrong? What? what? So you rather nigga not go over there at all, Listen, like, bro. and let it bend? I could name you a hundred things that Jackson State now has. That they didn't have before Dion came. New facilities. Like it's, it's, it's Athletic endless. trainers on deck. Prime time came Ooh. to Jackson, yeah. Mississippi, man. man Prime listen, time. Like Dion said, I only could do so much. We ran out of water. I had to fly the team to another city, pay for all her list. Woo, 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 woo. Man, no, he, yeah. he had a damn contract at Walmart to bring him water. He had to go elsewhere to. Practicing shit because Cause the, the yeah. water fucked up. You can't even use the they bathroom. They can't showers or nothing. You yeah. can't get no ice. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Look at the conditions this How man How we gonna was practice? In. Yeah. And y'all mad that prime time left? And it's not. And I, I hear people saying, "Oh, he took the money. He took the money." The man told you it's not about the money. It's about the opportunity. It's about the destination. Man, I'm going if, in the Pac-12. If, if he had to elevate and go, so what y'all rather him pay? Uh, Colorado pay him. The same, the same amount Jackson State, so it could not be about the money. Right. Like, what you you got to move on. He can't go straight from Jackson them, State uh, he got to a, the fucking 49ers. Fuck no. And then he said he don't want coach in the league. He right. said that already. Whatever it may be. You can't go from Jackson State to Alabama. Look, I said that you know I ain't going to lie. Saying? No one thing I laugh about Dion, though. Dion ain't going to hold his tongue. And he a playboy. Like, Dion said, yeah, I'm on my way. And I'm coming. I got Louis, I, I'm, I'm on my way with my Louis Vuitton luggage. You know, yeah, I got about 15 of them coming with me. Yeah, here go my quarterback right here. Boy, D on the food, boy. Man, what's wrong with telling people the truth in and reality? Look, like, he got four. He got four years, twenty-eight million, seven million a year. Yeah. You four. think I'm about to stay there for five hundred thousand? Yeah, it ain't about the money, but it is. Stop it. I'm gonna tell you it ain't about the money, but I got a family and shit. I ain't catch a pop like this since '98. No, but listen. See what I'm saying? Listen, I ain't catch a pop like it's this not since about the money. 2000. The man making that type of money no. in other places. Listen, listen. He no, ain't they, they, no, they, no, they, listen. they said it. He ain't catch this type of pop in the middle. See, no. he don't catch pops like this no more. He not prime when he was growing up. See, he ain't catch a. He listen, ain't, no, D. He ain't catch a seven man, million a year pop. What you think the man getting paid to be a NFL analyst and all that? He getting paid good money. Yes. Seven hundred thousand a year. I don't know, but no, these people getting you. paid ten million a year and shit. Uh, people uh, doing the same thing he doing. I don't know but, if Dion ain't getting no, see, some millions I a ain't year. Saying he ain't getting his money. He ain't catch a, a sign right here. Million. He ain't catch a pop that's like cool. this in twenty years. That's cool, but look, four years, twenty eight million. See what I'm saying? That's all they saying. Yeah. He ain't catch a pop like that. Really. Yeah, he ain't catch a pop like that in twenty five <laughs> years. Yeah, he ain't catch a pop like that in a minute. You know. I just don't know. I know he's making good money before Jackson State with the uh, NFL Network. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, Nike is still paying. Look, they got people. I mean, all these people getting ten million a year and shit with with NFL ad, 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 ad. But that's the big dog. That's Stephen A. And them, bro. How the fuck no, man. Stephen A. Getting more, probably getting more than that. I'm talking about Tony Romo. I'm talking about fucking Sean Payton. Whoever. Them people getting major yeah, dollars. Was a, wasn't as big as them. Now Dion. He ain't got to be as big. Tony Romo is a bigger analyst than him. They, they they called for him. They was calling for him for that while he was playing. They didn't even know Prime was going to get off into that shit, but he got off into it. I'm saying, I, he there. He, he there, dog. He's definitely make. He's Prime. He Prime, but he wasn't he making, making money. Yeah, but he wasn't making that. He might he might not have a Tony Romo deal. Yeah. He might not. Dion was making but he wasn't a getting no, no scrums. He was, he was making a couple hundred grand a year, like the Chris Carters and shit. Chris Carter man, was making good no, money. Man. Yeah. I don't see so that. I, I, and I think Chris Carter was on TV more than Dion. Chris Carter and them had their own show and everything, brother. First thing first, Chris Carter come from just like Dion on the panel every Sunday, boom. Then he moved from being on this network. Next thing you know, we wake up every morning. First thing first, Chris Carter got his own show. He made that comment or whatever, some shit happened, and he got took off. They let him back on. I feel that like Chris Carter them is in that realm, you know, but yeah. it's Dion Prime. He's probably the, 
one of the most popular retired football players you could get. Now, coming out right now, like Tom Brady and all that, yeah, they about to come out, yeah, they going to get no, big but deals. but like the man was saying on one of them networks, Fox or something, he was like, you know, they, they saying it ain't about money, but nigga, I understand, like, all I'm saying is, he ain't nothing like this in 20 years. My nigga got to take that. Nigga not going to say it. You heard me? Nigga not going to say it. Nigga got to take that, man. I ain't catch a pop like this, boy, <laughs> since 01. When I, when I played with the Ravens or something, yeah, when I, when, I, when I played with the, I ain't catch a pop like this since 2000. And what about the opportunity for you to be able to open up over there on that side? But now I'm respecting Colorado, mine, too. They didn't already, before motherfucker could put them on the spot, they didn't already came. Yeah, we don't have the money at this moment for Dion how we want. But I'm pretty sure we about to get it. We just had to get him here. He here not. The fucking white people about to get it. Fuck you right. Yeah, they about to kick. Yeah, but he let like, you know, as, as of right now, we don't got the money. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm respecting that. Yep. He come out before Nick even flip the script and say, look, we ain't got it right now. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? Okay. You seen it? The athletic director. Yeah, I saw that. Out. I just read that. That's yeah. what I just read. That boy, you come out. It? He had a press conference. Look, we ain't got it right now, but I'm confident. You know what I'm saying? Dion was We going to get it. And I'm assuming it's true because I read it. Dion was giving half his salary to Jackson State. Yeah. Really? The, yeah. yeah. That's why he only was taking home 500 racks. Wow. Uh, yeah, he was giving like the other half to them. No, he was getting five hundred, giving oh, half. Oh, giving them two. His deal was four year, one point two million or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but see, Dion, I ain't gonna lie, he bring, he get his little bags, but that that lump sum, I'm saying, I ain't taking them because he get. Oh no, that's probably the biggest contract you have gotten in a while. For Dion, sure. Dion got the Gatorade shit. Dion got shit going on with Nike. I think Dion under that lifetime shit with Nike. Like, he locked in with him. It might not be a LeBron billion-dollar lifetime deal, but Dion got some type of shit. Long as he in this field, I want, What they wanted Dion to do? Like, what, what you wanted the man to do? Man, you knew. wanted him to stay there like Eddie Robinson and become what? Y'all knew this was a stepping stone, bro. This was a stepping stone, bro. And I don't see, like, he lied to nobody. Nothing. The man came there fulfilling shit he said he was going to do. All right. Like, he brought high recruits there. He got people in the goddamn um, combine. He brought attention to Jackson, Mississippi. No, but what I'm looking at, too, what I'm looking at, too, brother. The whole swag. I Look, went to HBCU, but I, I know they ain't fucking. Listen, come on, now we this chest, wish Dion to come step forward. Check this up. Over there. This chest not checkers. This what I didn't peep, bro. Look at what's going on. Look at the, look at the Pac-12. Since all this shit been out, bitches ain't getting no what around the fucking championship. Check this out. Pac-12 still get their respect because they're a power five. But out of all the power fives, they the one you could sl I could slip in here and win it. I know what he looking at. Man, Utah, Utah just won the Pac-12 championship. Yeah. I come over here with my transfer <coughs> protocol, with my son playing quarterback, I could come win this league right now. Oh, that's man. why. He, that's why he talking the shit he talking. And you yeah, talk we, coach. We gonna win. You talk coach. We, I'm get. coming in winning because he see that shit watered down over there. That's why he went took it though. Yeah. He could come win that shit this year. That's how weak the Pac-12 is. He get the right transfers in. He could come finish first or second in that league right now. Come on, man. Like right now. Come on, man. Look at you talk coach. Dude could probably get whatever coaching job he want right now. He don't. He don't want to pack twelve the last two three years. He, or right. right. Yeah. Then well, then he won the Rose Bowl last year. Now he back in the Rose Bowl. I'm just saying that's good for Utah, nigga. You in the Rose Bowl, and guess what? If this was twelve, Utah be in every year. You know they about to go to twelve. They go to twelve. Dion getting the playoff, man. Come on, man. Like, what you want Dion to do? And the yeah. man. Got children and everything he need to be. Like, what the fuck are we talking about? Like, what? But picture now, look, he at the press conference at the D. So they asking him um, about the quarterback, son, where son. He like, yeah, um, Shallow, I left him at home. He in a doghouse. Now they got one of them, the, the, the defensive back, he don't want to go. 
saying, yeah, we came here, we built this, whoop, 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 whoop. Um, he joined some type of sorority out there where this some shit from back in the days where you got to be special to be in this shit. And there's only 54 people could be in this spot, or 53 people or whatever. And they gave him the last spot or something. Yeah, that's D- his journey. Fuck. That's yeah, your, Dion, Dion's son, Dion said yesterday, oh, my other son, yeah, he at home. I left him back. He in the doghouse. They ain't seeing eye to eye. But that's the son that he been beefing with. You know what I mean? That's the son that the step part wind up, something happened. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, it's going on. I fucks with Dion, bro. Dion is a great example of black men, bro. He yes, is a indeed. great example. You can see that he's a great father. I'm not, I don't know about everything about Dion, but the man in his children's life, you know, he putting God first. He he, he talked the talk. He, he, he walked the walk. He, he what we could be looking up to. Like, man, he did nothing wrong getting a job, making that job a better job. Making the so whole situation better and moving laugh. on. They gotta make y'all laugh, bro. They got a rapper I follow, right? Young Scooter out of Atlanta, future partner. Long story short, I'm in the story. Just talk to Gilly the Kid. Everybody moving to Colorado. We gone with Dion. All the top recruits go play with the GOAT. <laughs> what a liar. Yeah, man. Thank you, anybody get nobody. Come on, man. The same people that was in the locker room with him at Jackson State. Gonna be in the locker room with him at Colorado, man. Yeah, they won't see up. Dion. He said I'm bringing Tim now with me. He brought his son out. Here go y'all quarterback right here. We done upgraded right already. We upgraded. We be better. And then thank him, said, bro. His son gonna be up for the hot neck. That shit gonna be easier than him in the pack squad. He gonna be sitting back there just like he in the squad. <laughs> Dude work out with Tom Brady. You know you know how to make the reads. You know, now just about to solidify his son as a top 10 pick. Dude about to be, you know, he was going to be a first round out of Jackson State still. Somebody early first, late first, early second. Now he a top 15 pick in the draft now. He about to go do it in the Pac-12. Now what they going to see? You see what I'm saying? He about to go do it against USC, Oregon, UCLA, Utah. Yeah, the come back? He a sophomore, Junior. He a sophomore. He a redshirt sophomore. Oh, so he can leave then if you're a redshirt sophomore. No, I, I, no, he never redshirted. Cause I that's see. why I was beef with, with him and uh, that's a rally. So yeah, nah, dude. You sure? Yeah, you no, know, cause I can't remember if he came in and said he yeah. No, he never was said. Home. He, he never, never said. said. He put pressure. So when this dude went the fuck up, they like the freshman. You're right. Spencer started. Spencer but started. Caleb, was, there was dual quarterback and playing both of them. Or oh, then Caleb just no, took his spot. I think Spencer Rattler is there a year before him. Now, this is Spencer Rattler, sophomore year. Here come the freshman. That's what happened. So, like, let me see. That dude only played one year. In- That's crazy. That's yeah, he can't know. come out. Dude only played one year in Oklahoma. Yeah. One year in Oklahoma, one year in USC. Like, he got to come back. Yeah. He got to come back. Come back. That's who he going to have to fight. You got to respect Chip Kelly. See what I'm saying? You said that he getting his recruits now. This is fifth year in. Ain't no more excuses over that. He getting his shit. He, all his shit is in now, now in place. Yeah, got to respect Utah because Utah is the most physical team. They, they're the SEC style team in the Pac-12. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, the Pac-12 ain't no pushover. You got staff and this shit. You know, like, but you, you know, that's your three-headed monster to me. Oregon, USC, and Utah. That's the, that's I the. I know thing. Jackson State, I'm pretty sure they may be a little pissed because they lose. And they're talking about they call Carter. They got to be grateful. They're bro. talking about calling Jerry Rice. They're saying Jerry Rice. Or some shit. They saying Jerry Ben. Yeah, Jerry Rice come from ABC. Yeah, too, yeah. They you know, said but... Jerry Rice, and then they said Cadillac too. They throwing Cadillac out that night. He Cadillac came. already at Auburn. He, but still, you you go get that head See, coaching job. With Cadillac, bro. they thought he was gonna get this Auburn oh, job. But, but you can't pass up the coach they got. Even though you I ain't looking, I ain't looking at racist dog because everybody mad because they keep Cadillac. If you could get motherfucking Hugh Freeze. You know, get Cadillac, but he one of the best offensive minds in the country. Yeah. You saw when he took Liberty? He took Liberty to be in a powerhouse. 
You know what I'm saying? So they had to get that job. That Hugh Freed was available. Can't take that album. Was dope. They did the right move. But now Cadillac, you know, no head coach and experience. You got a few games under your belt. He's that, not going to HBCU. Like, he's probably getting paid that now. You know what I'm saying? He's probably getting paid right under that 300000 to be assistant coach at Auburn without all this pressure. Why would, you, hey, why would I go do that? Why would you, you think you get paid that? No, I think you get paid more than that. When Frank and all these people are getting fucking million dollars. And then you know he went undefeated. He brought Come money on, to that fucking school. They love him. Come on, man. Like, and man. then they probably broke it down to him. Like, look, bro, we're going to give him the job. But you know you always took care of over here. When they, you know, before they told the public they was hiring Hugh Freeze, I know they pulled that nigga to the side. Look, we don't mean no harm. We gone with the veteran coach. Just get some woo one of your belt. We gonna keep you over here. Ooh, Hugh Freeze probably gave that nigga a call. Like, yeah, I want you over here with me. Boom, 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 boom. Cadillac gonna eventually get him a job. He he played it the right way. He he got to go through the yeah, motions. Yeah, Auburn with one. I'm pretty sure he helped him recruit him. Yeah, you know? he going to nigga Cadillac house. With it's Cadillac, yeah. And he's the running backs coach. You want a nigga? The Cadillac was cold, bro. Cold, man. Injuries fucked nigga. him up. Joey yeah. Galloway talked about dude good. Joey Galloway, like my teammate. You know, they played for Tampa together. Mm-hmm. Joey Galloway, like, hey, man, that's a good dude. Yes, indeed, man. So let's get off the DR. Let's get off the uh, DR. Yeah, we, got, we got five men in local. Carl and Warren Easton lost. Congratulations to Brother Martin and um, Curtis. Curtis huh? they they like playing the in the title. You know what I mean? I ain't showing bias to the public of Cali. Congratulate. We all knew all this. Congratulations look, to Brother go Martin. Go back to what you've been saying, though. I just told somebody on Facebook, Cord. When I think I told you, they said, yeah, just give Carter the, uh, the championship. No, indeed. Just, just the first playoff week. I said, boy, five eight different, boy. Ain't no way you just give Carter a chance. It's their first year on five <laughs> eight. Hey. What you thinking about? It just you better do your homework. <laughs> like four eight five eight, two totally different beats, man. Two totally different beats. You got to fight to get to that dome, boy. Well, yes Shit ain't indeed. easy and simple, man. Yes, so I don't look at Carter like, oh, they just had a bad. Well, no, man, you just playing like, five e football on the road? That shit ain't that easy. Fuck no, that's why I used to be telling them like, take nothing away from Carver. When we was in school, Carver was winning the chips. But know what they always used to say? Y'all ain't playing what we playing, Carver. Y'all wasn't playing what the all was playing. Y'all wouldn't have won them five eight titles. I ain't taking the win. Yeah. Y'all wouldn't have won the five eight yeah. title when y'all would have had to see what lawn in the championship. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Who beat DJ his first year? You see what I'm saying? You know DJ was a freshman. They had two six six guard. But you know they was playing powerhouse on four eight P body. You know what I'm saying? But dog, listen. Mm-hmm. Five eight dog. And, if, and they for sure was a top team in the state, regardless of. Uh, four eight five eight, yeah. whatever we call for sure when we was coming well, in. Sure. It just would have been a harder road, road winning bro. that chip. That's all. It would have been a hard for sure. Uh, you know, bro. been a harder road. Bro. And um, yeah, bro, they were trying to get, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. This too, dude was clearly hurt for cup. If you watched the game, dude couldn't throw a nut. Oh, AJ, I ain't know that. Yeah, dude was hurt. Listen, the week before, why you think they got scared by a team? All right. They played Scotlandville like week three. 56 10 or some shit. When B beat, beat the piss out of them in, in um BR. So for the playoff game, Bryce and them stumped them so bad, they come into the game like we sitting dude. They sued him up. Four quarter, they had to put dude in the game to come win the game. So now he ain't even healed all the way. He wound up hurting his shit again. Winning that game, so he, see what I'm saying? They tried to I win. Yeah, they tried to win that bitch without him. Why you think third quarter and shit? <coughs> we looking at the school. It's <coughs> ten ten and shit. Call it's kind of fair by like. Yeah, they were losing. And we we call dirty red and them dirty and them at the game. We like dirty. What's going on? They like man, the backup started the game. He like they about they putting it they putting the starter in now. Nah. We like oh that's what happened. They, they beat the piss out these bitches so bad, they thought they was gonna be able to beat them with the backup quarterback. And then look, on top of that, after that game, when they took the backup quarterback out and put him in, after that game, the backup quit. So this week, when they playing this game, when he hurting, they don't have a backup to go to. They gotta keep him in. So now they handing the ball off to Chris and them, 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that was crazy. Cold, the bro. backup quarterback quit the Politics week before. Politics and sports, bro. The, back, like, the backup quarterback quit. Probably mom and them in his head, you know. Yeah, bro. That's the that's the that's the gift and the curse on um, being at a, a great school with so much talent, bro. Because as parents, we don't be understanding. You know, even the kids for sure not gonna be understanding because everybody want to play and everybody at Cup most likely. 95% of y'all was a, a star where y'all coming from, you know, with Park and all that y'all was coming from. So, <laughs> it's tough, like, just being a head coach at Cup, I, I know that's just, it's draining, tough, you just right. got, you got decisions in so many people right. to, I ain't gonna say please, but. And another thing, it's like, with Cup, come on, man, you and you're quitting that in a playoff. Cup. It's something like Alabama and New Orleans right now. I ain't talking about yeah, even them winners. I'm talking about like getting the recruits, getting see, the people to go see, there. see how it happened with Alvin Kamara. Couldn't touch the field at Bama. Went, went to Tennessee. Tennessee. Arguably the best back in the league. This is what's going on at Cup. You got you got stars on the bench. Mom and them tripping Sunday and getting again. The they getting so much talent coming through there. They got another team behind that. Them people don't rebuild. They re- they reload. That's uh, why we're not. If, they reload. We're not give any advice. They got time. so much talent over there, dog. If I'm, um, they got good players that don't even see the field. Cause look, this is what I tell what I tell parents who are in a position to decide shit for their kids and where they're going. I would much say I say look. I would I would rather go somewhere where I know my kid. Can touch the field, touch the court, then then to beat my chest go, for the championship, then, then go, then go. Oh, we make them battle and make them just. I mean, not it's not battle. Just know that ain't a for sure going to the so called best school with everybody there. Like let, let your child go, go have some fun and play out there, man. You know, right. you never know what'll come from that. You never know who'll recruit right. them. You never know how much fun it'll be. You know what I'm saying? And then and I know it's hard to see that, dude. Like, if your child just been a man here, woo, woo, woo. But you probably got to do your proper homework with other recruits and everything. Cause like, look, it's a, hold up, dude. That's a serious decision, bro. Yeah, when your child going to high school now. You would think college, but college is, is more of a. Easy. From the decisions you made before that. You know what I'm saying? You able to get scholarship to college, fuck. It is what it is. Like, if you got your own options in college, nigga, you just a dog. Like, that's just what it is. You could do it. But your high school pick is very important, bro. It's very important. And you got to, you know, you got to know what you're getting your child into with the sports. And then you don't want to be too late in the game having them quitting and trying to switch schools and all that. You got to figure that shit out early and often. And that's just sure. like... You know, I always bring that back one. Y'all niggas was coming out bitter, dog. Like, you know, but, you know, we black. We looking at woo 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 woo. But I know you grown and old or not. Shit, your life would have been different, bro, if you would have went to Brother Martin. If y'all take that scholarship from Brother Martin, you and Pert and them and go with DJ and them, you living a different life because that, that would have put you inside another environment. Real talk. You wouldn't even have the friends you got right now because you wouldn't have been at the all. Oh, you know certain niggas, but you wouldn't have that same all oh, brotherhood because you'd, you'd be at, you'd have went to Brother Martin. Who knows what really would have happened? Who knows See, what college coach yeah, would have called I feel you. like the basketball could have been different, like the opportunities. Yeah, because these people would have been calling people. Man. It would have been, it would have been a hell of a fucking sight if, if we all, if, if I went there, fuck, this ain't me. If I went to Brother Martin with Rock and DJ, Corey Bloom, Lil Deuce now, yeah, I probably had some more opportunities on the B-Ball court too. And they sure. really wanted y'all, though. Like, them people really it wanted them. My they parents come on, they whole know. team. Yeah, see? We, they we wasn't in tune then. Like, man, no, you know, and nothing, you know, we got to stop this too, like, Man, you know, I'm not sending my child over to brother white folks. Like, you know, just some some black people don't be trusting it. You know? Even though I never heard nothing bad about Brother Martin, my partner, Akeem, he graduated from Brother Martin. 
He said they treated him good over there. You know, I never heard nothing bad about Brother Martin, but you know, back then, it still was them times. You know, we talking about 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? In the year 2000 was their ninth grade year. So that's when they would have been there, you feel me? It was just times with different people with skeptical are still sending their children over to some people. They had blacks on the team. Like we said, he named them. Corey Blue, woo woo. All of them was on the team. My father and I can't play football, but just imagine them. See you in different rooms if you go down. I right, have me some chips. For sure. <laughs> Rock dude got some chips, man. Five eight. Yeah, real deal. <laughs> real deal, holy field. Cause we're gonna make this shot. Get my pick. <coughs> I'm going with the upset. Who plays Saturday at 12 o'clock? Saturday at Who's 12? Going? One of the small games. One of them, you know, 3 a or something. Okay. I know what? Friday night is the big division one game. I mean, yeah. yeah. Curtis and them play at 7 Saturday, huh? All right, yeah. Curtis and them is Saturday night, the Division One. Friday night is the Division One nine select okay. with the public. That's the big boy. Okay. The big boy is the Division One nine select. That's going to be Rustin and um, Destrahan. Okay. You did? Okay. Rustin just beat the piss out Zach. She surprised everybody. Stumped them. That's who been that's who been um that's who been dominating Zachary, but Rustin stumped him now. If you go back in your history, Rustin is the original top dog in the state of Louisiana. If you start back from the sixties and shit. West Monroe and all that shit in the nineties, like my pa said, it's like ninety two, ninety three, all of a sudden, here come West Monroe. They ain't never looked back, but no, it was Rustin and Neville it was. in that in that Monroe area. West Monroe wasn't here though. It was just the, the the school the whites went to, they wasn't even competitive. See around 89, 90, all that shit hit, here they come. West Monroe Rebels, cause know why? They started letting us come. They started saying, come on, uh-uh, come on, Chris. And D. Yeah. <laughs> you told this bitch your head. Yeah. We can't beat them without them. <laughs> we gotta have them to beat them. History lesson here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't know who's come with it. Yeah, so yeah. Rustin back. Right? I don't, Rustin probably ain't won the title since 94. 90, you know what I'm saying? That, yeah, my, my first taste of Rustin was when um, it was the it was the go to the dome, but I'm a little kid. It's probably 94, 95 <laughs> in that area. They beat Judge with that tag on me to go to the dome. I remember Rustin from the yeah, Rustin. I that yeah, Rustin, the early 90s. Yes, indeed. The red and white team. So, they back at it. But that's the hand. Got that quarterback. You know, you got to respect him. They ain't winning since Justin Jefferson, though. Mm. See what I'm saying? So. Good chat. Good chat. Uh, his brother. One of, did they win it since? No. They both won it. Sure, but. Uh, <laughs> chat, but I'm picking I'm picking Rustin to win the title on uh, in the division one nine select. Who you got out to Brother Mark Curtis? I'm going with the upset. I'm going with Brother Mark. I ain't won the state title since 1989. Never even made it to the Superdome. And they, cause the, the championship wasn't at the dome in '89. So Brother Mark never made it to the dome. Last finals appearance was in 1989. Brother Martin in the upset. It, Curtis. It's Dustin. Brother Martin in the upset. Curtis got the experience. Because one thing that's good about, put it like this. If you see Curtis for the first time this year, mm -hmm. you ain't really accustomed to playing him, you in trouble. Yeah. Look, that's what I told Chicago. Chicago was like, man, they, they probably going to lose this week. I'm like, who they play? You said Cali. And I think Cali must have beat him already. Pretty bad, and he was like, you know, that car must have already beat him pretty bad, too. Yeah. I'm like, well, look, Scott, Curtis is different. <laughs> yeah. 
They, know they, how to they play a different game yeah. than everybody else. They know when how they, to keep you the know. ball from you. They know how to run trick plays and shit at the right time. I never seen a team like them bitches, though. They run the poor, simplest 1937 shit, bro. <laughs> so she, <laughs> pre- from she predicted Catholic to beat Curtis, right. but I didn't let her know. Like, I don't know. I ain't been in tune to what really should happen, but I know Curtis on any given night could beat somebody. Right. Just from me knowing Curtis and experience and yeah. how they play ball, they they yeah. run in there whatever yeah, triple option, whatever the fuck yeah. they be doing. The field, you know, right. <laughs> and um and just like that, she sent me the score. Boom, Curtis won by what three points or some six points, some shit. Right. A good close game in Cali, yeah. you know. So, hey, yeah. hey. That's why I always hated Curtis. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going with, bro- with Brother Martin because they beat Brother Martin pretty good in the regular season. And not, you know, it's good that you saw that shit already. This bitch going to be close. Yeah. They, ain't gonna, they, 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 they ain't gonna be faking them. They ain't going to be faking them out with certain shit they was faking them out with the first game. Like, you play the, you play the option better. They gonna play that bitch better this time. I'm at the door, no. They gonna play, that, play Friday. They gonna play, Cause guess what, that running back cold, boy, for Brother Martin. That running back cold. He D1. Curtis, no shit. Championship at the championship at the championship. Please don't let Curtis win it this year on the down yet. When they wasn't even expecting to go. This young team, all the team come back. For real, huh? Quarter, yeah. Quarterback and up. This was a year where he snuck in up. Shit, Chad. So, yeah, we got that out the way with the with the high school shit. We'll get on the high school b-ball another time. They, they just getting going football players just getting back and shit. So, you know, now it's about to get, and about get, to get you know, get they, get they self together to January. But, um, you know, go to cut the, uh, the college final four, bro. We in there, bro. You heard me. I, I started off with this. I made a bet with D. Well, he made a bet with me and I took it. 200 to my 100. I'm trying to tell him Kirk Herbstreit got a just the last week, like, look, Kurt Herbstreit put up five things. Like, if this happened, which is a long shot by far, this gives Alabama a chance. I mean, Alabama was sitting at six, I think, or something. So, you know, they need to get move up two spots. But all these teams don't really have no losses. And the ones who had a loss or something got a championship game to play to make sure they get in that type shit. So, D shut it down, like, man, ain't no way Alabama get in there. Ain't no way. Like, even with this week, no matter what happened, they can't get in there. We know they were supposed to, but the outcry of the public was going to be too bad. It was going to be like, we, you got to think, they presenting this game of football to the whole United States. We got to cater to all these markets. We already losing, like, college football, been, ain't ain't what it was twenty years ago, bro. Far as like, you know I mean? it it looked good. They still making money. The money still out there and shit, dog. But it's like, they tired. They trying to end this straight up SEC shit, bro. They trying to put an end to this shit, bro. They, they trying to diverse this shit again. They trying to have it what. The Nebraska's in there, yeah, you know. Yeah. Bro, they're trying to have it where Michigan come win this title. And woo, woo, woo. That's why they got to bust it open at 12. You feel me? This shit a joke, brother. You got 93 Kansas State, right? They just beat an uh, undefeated TCU in the champ conference championship game. Got to go play in the bowl game. Don't got a shot at the title. It's a joke, brother. For real. <coughs> right. at home, like the man said yesterday, said it again on TV. Stephen A. Them saying it this morning. Stephen A. said it. Alabama be favored by double digits over all these people, man. Right now, 
So if Alabama be the favorite, then to me, that's what they're supposed to be in. That's what Stephen A. saying. Alabama be favorite. Everybody know. Alabama be a 10-plus favorite over everybody but Georgia in the country right now. Name a team in the country, but it ain't Georgia. Bama by 13. Michigan might not be double digits, but it'd be a yeah, touchdown. Yeah, double digits. You seen what they did them? Double, double digits. Well, you seen what they did Michigan? Double digit favorite. Quickie boy. Nick Saban. Double digit favorite. Bam. That's what they did them, but I would still have to give them, you know, Michigan look good again, once again. You know, you know speaking on this final four, you did. I mean, you know, I get straight to it. You know, I think outside the box, you hear me? <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, well, that was <laughs> Check this out, brother. Uh, Ohio State. Ohio State gonna beat Georgia. I'm calling I'm the only person in the country calling this. I see it from a mile away. You, you ain't the only one. I, nobody believe in Georgia like that, man. Boy, you crazy? Everybody like Georgia is a lot for this title. I'm saying to me, I don't know who Georgia's not. Unbeatable to That's me. what I'm trying to tell you. But everybody think they are. They, 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 they think they're the new Alabama. Georgia is the prohibited favorite mm -hmm. to win it, bro. They seem to be I mean, they number one. They ain't lose. I get it. But. And picture, I think in this game, they're like a 10 pound favorite over Ohio State, too, in this game. But guess what? Seven, six and a half. If they protect that boy. They gonna beat Georgia because I'm watching this LSU game. Brian Kelly was about to explode because you know if they they the lost, they still would have got in. Georgia still was getting in. Yeah. But look, that field goal shit while niggas just standing around thinking the play did, nigga picked it up and boom. After that, the helmet. We going good. down there, but once that shit happened with the helmet, bro, that deflated them, bro. It was, it was over with from that. Like, <coughs> come back from that. But really, dog, unless you was about to fuck them people up. Yeah, dog. for unless real. Unless you was about to beat them people and everything, dog. They couldn't stop them or nothing. But then your boy ain't gonna shit with the bitch tripping, dog. See that boy, CJ Stroud? I fuck with him. He, he my favorite quarterback in the country. CJ Stroud, he's slinging that bitch. Dude from Cali. They put the hands to join. Cold. They got the receivers, brother. That they, nigga cold. This what I'm telling you. If they could protect that boy, Georgia showed it, and they brought him in that pass game. In that fucking pass game, you slang that back. I know how you, how you State got running backs and everything. Right. I like the Ohio State. I feel like Michigan gone on kill TCU. I don't think so. See, everybody think that's a landslide. I ain't giving no pick in that game because I don't really know. I'm gonna tell you my 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 picking. That game is a toss up, bro. Real talk, that game a toss up game. Boy, TCU really good. TCU, TCU you gotta be better than really good for Michigan, dog. Them people. What Michigan? Who Michigan play to be? I I told you. They playing this Purdue, they... Minnesota, Nebraska, Iowa, and shit. They ain't seen the speed TCU about to come with. This Big Twelve shit, we spraying you out, throwing that bitch every play. Them, them people could cause problems for um Michigan, boy. Yeah, boy. I get it. They yeah. can cause problems. For sure. They could get up and we'll make it a game. I just know Michigan just, they, they just, they, they lying, bro. They're in the trenches. Jim Harbaugh, bro. He's going to run the ball all over the people. I know he is, though. I know they're going to dominate the line of scrimmage. And that speed shit, it's too many mistakes could happen. Like, I think Michigan going to win by double digits for sure. Like, TCU, you know, it's just like, it's like the SEC team playing up. The fucking that sound about right. Pac-12. You know That's what I'm saying? What? That's how I look at that one. But sometimes Oregon, all right. You know, I'm just giving an example. Oregon may make a game to an SEC team. But the real deal ones with the line and everything, they dominated them. Like, but it's all about history books. Everybody see, you know, these people really like, they don't even call each other school name. Them bitches, they fight. They Michigan, Ohio State in the championship. Come on, man. It ain't gonna get no, ain't no bigger than that. Yeah, that's the biggest ain't, rivalry right Ain't yeah. That's the biggest rivalry in college sports. 
it don't get no bigger than that. And they never played for the title. Probably never had a chance. This the chance. I think Ohio State gonna beat Georgia though. Because the public ain't giving them a shot. But like you saying, motherfuckers behind closed doors who in this shit know. I just don't, I, I mean. The, the, the public though, they, it's 80% public Georgia. See what I'm saying? It's public. You hear me? I like Ohio State in that game. But I like Ohio State in this game. And I don't think you just like tripping by saying Ohio State. You know they're the fool. Charge the one. No, you're not tripping. You told me I'm tripping. You're not tripping, no. I, I feel like that's going to be a game. I'm like, son, I think Ohio State going to beat me. They're like, no. I'm like, yeah. Then they got 30 days to prepare for that shit. They don't even play till January or something. Nope. Yeah, January 2nd, I think. <laughs> the third or something like that. Hell yeah, man. Get like, this line ready. Get everybody healthy. Our, our running back leg is good. You can't <laughs> think George <laughs> is just going to come and shut these people down. No. No, I don't I don't see that. I don't see that. Take that bitch over. You got the people to prepare. I knew Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to do his fucking thing. He cool. He's sure. going top five. I already see. For sure, he's, he's nice. Five. He's well, nice. He's, he's a number five. one. He don't. You know, he catches everything. Little bitty. He look like a faster one. Just a faster his paw or something. Yeah, <laughs> bigger. A bigger version of and his paw. Uh, look like he's small though. I don't know his exact size. He, he, shit. More, he more cut up and shit than his paw. More riding. Yeah, more riding. Yeah, he more. Yeah, he more he's he ain't no big nigga though. <laughs> he cold. But he see? cold. But huh? I think he. Uh, fuck. I don't. I don't know because I ain't been on it like that. But I would want to say, fuck, I knew he had running for the Bermuda call. You know, top receiver in the country. This yeah. Chase one. Yeah. yeah. I think I, it's I him think. and, um, I think it's a K-State receiver. But, yeah, it's him. He is. He cool. Yeah, he cool. But now, we got to get to this here now. Fuck the players. The chess match, the coaches, it's, it's, it's they versus it's smart. It's the offensive genius against the defensive genius. Ooh wee. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's a nice idea. You see what I'm saying? It's the, it's the offensive nigga, D, yeah. against the defensive nigga who come up under the saving tree. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. You feel me? The coaching match of five. I like that. Yeah. You hear me? The coaching match of five. I, I feel like the best coach overall is Jim Hart. It's Harbaugh. I fuck with Harbaugh. You know, to me, I ain't no better coach out there. You know, you're going to get talk Nick Saban or somebody else, but I think Harbaugh the best coach in the country. I can feel that. Right. Yeah. True, true, true. Sure. Well, NFL, it don't matter. He know, he know something. NFL, he liked that too. He come out there and win, beat your fucking ass, for sure. You know how to win college. He mm-hmm. seen like this nigga barely lost. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now he in his bag with his recruiting and shit over there at Michigan. He not leaving no Michigan. Uh-huh. That don't make no sense. He just said I'm country. back in Michigan for 2023. You know. He just said you ain't about to leave no Michigan. You got to you got to get your. Not just dream job, you gotta get your, I never thought about in my life job to leave Michigan. You know what I'm saying? For sure. They gotta come make you the head coach of the Green Bay Packers or something. Yeah, you know. I'm out of here. Some shit like that, <laughs> you know, something that, that floats his boat. General manager and head coach, whatever, however you gotta do it. 10 year deal or something, give me some fucking security. But, um, Ohio State versus Michigan for the title. Mm. So we got, man, we got uh, the NBA, bro. We got the Pelicans balling, bro. They the, they the one eight out of the last ten game. Zion, Yon, I looked up one day. <laughs> Zion Yon passed 35 minutes. I said, yeah. Hey. Zion Yon playing and everything. Now, he ain't, they ain't just keeping him under 30 yeah. minutes and shit. He played 35 minutes the other day, dog. Yeah. Then, you, then you just saw a Denver coach yesterday, two days ago, said, yeah, look, nobody in the NBA can check Zion one-on-one. Like, 
it, it won't happen. You know, because how y'all better be out there, ain't no B.I., Brian ain't what there, or somebody else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that was the night Jose had 38, but he was just showing how Zion, just dishing that bitch, scoring that will, just doing everything to win the fucking game, leading the team. You know, mm-hmm. we second in the West, bro. A game behind Phoenix. Well, night in, night out, it's going to be hard to beat the Pelicans, bro. They got a lot they bring to the table, bro. Yep. Shooting with, yep. with with players who could give you 30, 40, 50, multiple players. So along with somebody really doing their thing. And you got a, 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 a generational player, Zion, who could do shit that you know, people just can't do. That's a that's the formula for a championship team. Right. To me. And then the right in our division. Our division tough though. Ja. Ja want that MVP, bro. He wants the MVP. Ja coming though. Ja is a highlight. Like Ja is the new eye, bro. Mm-hmm. But on in another a different level, way. In yep. a different way. Ja is the new eye. Ja is a seller wherever he coming. Wherever he coming. We coming to see him. That what I mean by the new eye. He must see TV. <laughs> Point blank period. Dude must see TV every time he play. It's a highlight. So, you know what I'm saying? Like a like a Vince. How, how Vince and I have had that fucking just like man, nigga trying to see. You know when yeah. Vince was young. Yeah. That's that's that that you know. Mm-hmm. That's how he. That nigga dog. That nigga is a, a highlight real dog. You want to see him play every night, bro. Dude, cold, dog. And, like, this one niggas ain't really giving him respect. His, his, his all the way respect at it. He really doing some Ivan LeBron type shit. Look how he got Memphis, dog. That's like Drew Brees with the Saints. How he had Marcus Cook and them shit. This nigga got Bane in them. These niggas all-star players now. This nigga took Memphis, no name niggas to nah, they one of the best team in the league, top five in the league. Hear me? Man, Ja, ja the real deal, dog. Ja the real deal, dog. Ja got a mediocre team on you know, top of the league. <laughs> I, I mean, I, <laughs> to I me, agree. his team uh, is yeah, like yeah. LeBron James Cavaliers teams. Fuck. What's the difference? Shit. Uh, What's the difference? Not, not the, not the Pugo, not, not the, not the, not the, um, <clears throat> not the Larry Hughes and, and, and the, uh, the Marshall. Not the, not the, uh, uh-uh. that's, not that's the, them. Not the best one he had. Not the Larry Hughes and Johnny Marshall. Not the other one. The, the, one. the, the, the other one. one. The, the J.R. Smith. <laughs> yeah. With the, yeah. yeah. With Kyrie. Before, uh, uh-uh, before Kyrie, though. The one. It wasn't none. <laughs> J.R. Yeah. wasn't that before him with, uh. Yeah. J.R. was there like no, two man. years before Kyrie. Yeah. See, I was there before Kyrie. Man, LeBron's in Miami for three years, man. Oh, yeah, 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 he was in Miami. <laughs> See, y'all came with Iman Shepard to Cleveland. Well, no, his team, all right, his team most similar to the Every Snow. Man, man fuck no, so man, dude got a better team than LeBron then, man. The Ivy? Yeah. With yeah. Aaron McKean them? No, yeah, man. man. Who is got a better a, team? Who is Bane them? We Jaron <laughs> Jackson is a is a solid player, you know? If Jaron Jackson like that. Yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? Well, you know. LeBron ain't had nobody to say that to. Oh, Jaron <laughs> Jackson like that. He ain't had none, nobody else to say what you Call can say. Carlos Boots, it was like that, boy. He was oh. doing the same thing Jaron Jackson doing. We gonna say Jaron Jackson, Carlos Boots, it was man, fuck fucking no, right. Man. They made it to the finals, boy. Yeah, Carlo Bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to give you that. Carlo Bulls was an a all-star player at one point. Yeah. Not with them. With Utah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Utah, but no. Memphis team is better than LeBron team and AI, man. AI had my tumble, bro. Fuck it right. He had my tumble. Yeah, I mean, he Aaron had a McKee. shot blocker. Aaron McKee, Aaron Snow, Snow, Larry Hughes, same nigga. Yeah, like, that's the good. That was the good Larry Hughes, though. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't the Cleveland Larry Hughes. That was the good Larry Hughes. I think both. I think Larry Hughes played good in both. He was still young in both, though. Cause Larry Hughes was down there, their best player mm-hmm. in Cleveland before LeBron came. Yo, oh, boy. Oh. 
And I give it a lot with coaching in Memphis, bro. Dude doing his thing. You remember, Job missed about 20 game, 30, whatever. Uh, and the people was winning without him. Man, you know see, what I'm saying? Let's talk about these young boys, man. How do you feel about Jalen Green and the young boys? Man, I'm fucking with you Houston with Jalen Green last and, night, and huh? Kevin Porter. They won in overtime, nigga. Uh, yeah. Jalen Green is... He he give you Ja Russell Westbrook. He give you that. Jaylen that nigga Rose. cool just like oh. them. I feel like Jalen Green got the potential to be Jaylen better Rose, than Ja. Jalen Green could shoot the ball better than J- both of them. Yes, Jalen Green. Jalen Green is a shooter. Yeah. With all this here. With all that. With yeah. the hops and everything like uh, Ja. Jalen Green. Jalen Green, I think, about to put his name on a map real soon and be like, like that. They just got to get the winning. You know what I'm saying? They got to get the winning. And yeah, um, another another team that's balling right now, bro. Like, I'm just happy to see them balling. They, they didn't they be getting their ass bust so many yeah, sacks, bro. Sacks playing sack, good. Fox, yeah. I, DeAndre Fox is the most unappreciated good p- player in the league. Everybody know he an all star. He top of the line, dog. Oh, it's right. like Barry Sanders being in Detroit, you know, some shit. But I ain't saying he that. Was, yeah, yeah, but yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like yeah. man, dude, too cool. Let that man out of there, bro. Let that man do. That man cool. Him and Malik Monk, them over there balling up. Man, man, got them people balling. Yeah. Uh, T. Davis and all that shit. Let me tell. I feel like they gonna be gonna be tough. Remember the Wild Wild West? Though they showed the West lineup from one to nine. Everybody one or two games apart. Yeah, from one to nine. From one to nine, everybody won or two games apart. Nobody got a lead mm-hmm. in the West. Like the Lakers can still win the West straight up and have the number one seed. Wow. Yeah. You see them people balling, boy. AD, AD might nine be and nine looking and like games. he about to get a uh, keep going on this run. He looking at the MVP. Yeah, but he gonna get I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If he playing, no, he I MVP I, type. Ooh, ooh. If I had to switch my, if, if I had to go all right, my pick is Ja, right? Yeah. I'm not gonna switch it, see? But if you told me, give me your MVP off these 30 games that we done played so far, Tatum. Yeah. Right now, Tatum the MVP in yeah, the league. I can say that. They Tatum. got the best record in the league and he averaging down there for all there. So, a 36 or some shit. Yeah. yeah. Tatum right now, as far as the ball, as far as right now, putting in the work and you hear me? Jock balling too. Jock right there after 32 or some shit. But Tatum right now is the MVP of the league so far, what we done seen. So far, Tatum the MVP, he got it. Yeah. I ain't lying. My pick job. Tatum been more consistent than anybody. Yeah. Dominating. That Tatum. I would say dominating next. Dominating every night. I would say next dude would be, um, it would, pro- it would probably be AD, bro. Yeah. AD, maybe uh, Ja, then maybe Luca. It's just Ja, Luca, and AD. Record's not great. None of them is, but. Tatum will be the runaway winner right now. Right. They balling. And, you know, they, they just balling. And Jalen Brown balling. Both of them dudes balling. Tatum just really been averaging 30 something doing this fucking thing. Tatum living like that. And Brown, you know, they got the best tandem in the league. Yeah. For sure. They got it. I don't know if somebody else can compete with uh, Tatum and Brown, bro. That's tough. That's tough, though. That's tough. They right. got a the wing. They, you know, the wing, the wing special like that. They ain't had nothing like that since fuck LeBron D Wade. Right. For real, like MJ Scott and Pippen before that. Right. These two dudes cold, son. The other night, Brown had twenty in the first. Forgot who they were playing. Philly, I think. Twenty in the first. You got two dudes who can give you 50, like, for sure, though. Today, they can both give you 50. 50, though. Tatum, but Tatum on it. Tatum, Tatum stepped it up, boy. Tatum. And he got the best team in the league. Yeah, ain't they something like... He only lost two, three games. Lost four games last time I checked. 
full game. Number one seed, written all over them. Yeah, they got the best record in the league. Yeah, man, AD Lakers doing their thing. Russ, they look like they jelly with Russ coming get off the bench. They, 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 they playing good ball. Feel like the Pelicans, Pelicans, Lakers, Boston. As of like the last 10 games, probably been the best teams in the league. This last 10 games, Lakers, Pelicans, Boston. Phoenix still playing good. Phoenix playing good. Yeah, the last ten games they probably they probably playing fifth, sixth best or something, cause they've been losing and shit. No Chris Paul, Booker been Booker been <coughs> scoring fifty and shit now. Booker trying to go get an MVP too. Booker in that MVP race right. too for Booker, sure. Booker, he number one in the West. He done had forty nine, forty something. He didn't. He been cutting up too. Just losing some of them games, but fuck, he been cutting up. What's going on with the Clippers, huh? <clears throat> Kawhi the game when the last night, you know, when he played, he make his mark. He came, Kawhi came back last night after missing half a minute game and hit a game winner. <laughs> 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 this bitch just got like MJ in his yeah. veins or something, <laughs> bro. It's like that nigga, that dog he, just he cold, son. Yeah, he dog. he know how to keep his body. He want he milking the game. He know what he's doing. He bro. milking the game, coach. Just get us in the offs, you know. <laughs> we gonna be straight. Get us in the offs, coach. I'ma be there. I'ma you know make sure I'm straight, healthy, and in shape. By the time the offs come, that's when you want the best me. By the boom, by the bang. And him and Paul George, they could be, they could be Tatum and Brown too. You know that's. Oh no. They, I mean, I you know, always tell a nigga. They can be Tatum that. and Brown can't fuck with that. <laughs> no, don't get it twisted. Don't care how good <laughs> that shit look. They play that. I, I ain't gonna say just, that we now. Just made, look, but we this just, had, we like just had that argument, boy. <laughs> they play that. We're going to be talking about, yeah, they young. That'll be a they nice they, 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 they time coming. <laughs> That's what we're going to be saying. The Clippers and Golden State meet in the finals this year. We're going to be saying the same thing. We're going to be saying that. That'll be a nice final. They just ain't got it. Clippers, they, Boston, with them with that two it's, on it's, two. It, you know, that's still the Jake. That's, listen, brother. That's still. Nigga, that's tough. Both of them bars. Doing it. That's tough, right? That's that's tough as a motherfucker. Don't get it twisted. That's tough. But that's life. Remember when motherfucking um They the younger them. No, but look, listen. Remember when Shaq and Pennant they made it to the finals. They beat Jordan and them. They went to the finals. Nigga like Eddie young nigga woo woo woo. But you weren't playing them vets. You weren't playing Elijah Wine and Drexler. Same thing that happened. They gonna play Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Kawhi tasted the fire. You see, that's tasted different. already. I get where you going, but it's Paul different. George ain't tasted yet, boy. Let's see, and then they, the two niggas play D two. I'm saying at least these niggas got to the finals. Oh yeah, they did. They did. They got to the finals. They got to the step before that. At least Orlando. That was their first time getting there. They could have been overwhelmed. Boston gonna be. Itching, you know, like, and I ain't gonna itching. lie, I don't think nothing in the East can beat Boston in the seven game. I'm gonna keep it real over that because with them two, I, I was picking Philly to go, but I like Brooklyn. I mean, that's to me, that's they that's they test Brooklyn, yeah, because I don't think Giannis can beat them by itself. Yeah, let me Chris Bitter to them, all though, but he got a chance because he got it, yeah, KD Kyrie. Man, come on, man. You know them dudes coming for us, boy. They're going to get it together, for sure. They coming for us. Get it together. But yeah, man. Oh, yeah, to the NFL. NFL got to give our picks for this week. Let's get some picks before we get out of here. I yeah. got I got an upset, you got an upset? Yeah. So you do who you got. Cleveland gonna beat Cincinnati. Deshaun Watson second game. Yeah, fuck with my people like that. Bro. that I fuck that, with you, bro. That defense, but you fuck with Deshaun. I fuck with both of them. <laughs> Deshaun back. Joe just in 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 
13 game phone. You right. know what I'm saying? Deshaun just getting out there. I don't. It's tough. It's tough, but like I said, we said when Deshaun come back, he might win every game. It was just like, <laughs> they team so good. If he come and bring any Nick spot, Chubb and Kareem yeah, Hunt, man. man. They could control that ball tomorrow. You not for a fish. You they could control fish, that bro. ball, and they got the fucking pass rushes and shit to get to their quarterback. I like Cleveland with the point. They got the defense. I like Cleveland with the point. You not fucking with you. What they get? Six. They get six. Oh, yeah. So, NFL... I like Cleveland for sure. I got a, I got a, I got a simple, easy pick that I just feel like that's what's manifesting, and it, and it's the Thursday night game, bro. I got the Raiders, bro. I got the Raiders making a run at the playoffs, though. I feel like the the record ain't what the record say it is. No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got to tighten up a tad bit more, and. I feel like they they doing better with the run game and just and have an overall game plan. I think Josh McDaniels probably got he, he probably getting it together, but they're gonna be hard to beat. I feel like even um, closing out this season, so they got the Rams third, giving them six. I'm gonna give you a certified lock. Certified, just the lock of the week. Kansas City, Denver can't score. I don't care how many points they give them. Denver can't score, period. Denver don't score points. Simple. Yeah. Blow up. KC can score 14 and cover them now. Yeah. 14-3. Yeah. Because I ain't lying. Denver, them in 4-9 got the best D in the league. Right. Pat Sertan now. Yes, indeed. Simple. D'Amico Ryan's, huh? Right. Them niggas balling. D'Amico Ryan's is Frisco. No, that's Frisco D line. I mean, D But um, Denver dog, they got a D. To say them niggas can't score at all, they still be in every game. You know why niggas don't score with sixteen and shit on mm-hmm. seventeen. I like Miami to bounce back this week too. They play the Chargers. They get the three on the road. Yeah, Tom got Frisco. I look, check that out. Dude was the last pick in the draft. Brock I immediately Purdy. thought Tom Brady. <laughs> so, how this go? Brock Purdy. Trey Lance get hurt for the season. <laughs> uh, a potentially good quarterback. Then Jimmy, a for sure nigga could get you to the Super Bowl quarterback. Get hurt for the season. Man, this dude like a Brady. Four-year starter, smartest in mother. Come on, man. You come from slinging that rock in Iowa. Iowa State, yeah. Iowa State. <laughs> and two saying? niggas get hurt for the season. You the last pick in the fucking draft, bro. Boy, I'm watching that game. He, it got too much compared to Tom Brady, bro. And he played Tom Brady. Brady style. Yeah. His, his this next week. He had to come in again the week before, and you played Tom Brady your first starting week. The nigga who was the second to last pick in the draft. draft. And he the GOAT. He the the best ever. The GOAT. Brian Purdy, I'm watching you Sunday at 325. And I'm picking y'all. I'm betting with y'all. Frisco gonna beat the fuck out of town. And look, one of Frisco best defensive players had got on there. And they asked him about Brock Purdy. It was like Brock Purdy, he played against the best defense in the league every day. He gonna be straight. He's straight. Because you know he practice squad and shit. Got to think about it. He the third string, so he scout team. Yeah, he the one. Yeah, getting some reps and shit. He the one they fucking up and shit at practice when they doing live shit. They going against him. He going against the best D in the league at practice. Dude ain't lying though. Like dude, like yeah, he straight. He can go. He see the best league D in the league every day. I feel that too. That shit bad, man. You could plug, you know, just look like you could plug in there. So, yeah, I like that. My picks. I like I like Raiders a lot Thursday against the Rams. Mm-hmm. I don't know if Aaron Donald playing or not, but Jalen Rams ain't been playing that good. He don't want to go in front 17 right now. 17 living like that. Living like Every that. week he living like, he that. like that. For sure. He giving it to niggas. Devontae Adams, y'all already know. Dude going to cut up a Josh See, Jacobs. Your, your dog Damn, they're the best back in the league right your now. You're the partner in the slump. Who that? Allen. Yeah, he hurt, man. 
Because he had an elbow fucked up. But you know what he's doing? He went in get ugly games. So I respect it. Mm-hmm. He's still mm-hmm. getting a W. Mm-hmm. Right, right, you know right, what right. I'm saying? Uh, uh, two, three, three to five throws maybe off or something. Uh, probably cost him some touchdowns. You know, should be the luck of the draw like that. He's going to be all right. But can he cover this week? I don't know. The Jets look like they really deep. got a D. Jets <laughs> look like they deep. really got a D. And that bought them, them Ohio State wide receivers, dog. Really got a D. And they got the next Aaron Donald. Number 17. That's Quentin dude, Williams. Yeah, the big boy in the From middle. From Alabama. He, yeah, he, he tossing shit <laughs> with sauce out there. You know, you get pressure up the middle, you can be a good team. I like the boy, Gary Wilson. That wide receiver. Yeah, he's nice. The picture was him, Marvin Harrison, Olave, all of them was together, bro. McLaren, dude, who played for uh, Washington. Washington. Yeah, man. Ohio State wide receiver. Here come Marvin Harrison. He, he the next one. Oh, yeah, and to me, it's a certified lot. I don't see it going no other way. Unless they lose the rest of the game. It's already yeah. stitched in stone. Jalen Hurts is the MVP of the National Football League. You take that from what they went, whatever, five and something. Yeah, they really got to lose out and of him. Fuck up for them. He, he, he pretty much got it sewed up. He got it sewed up. Ain't too many people. I don't even really. know why they try You know who do got a chance? They got somebody else who got a chance. Like Joe Burrow. You yeah, got a chance. Fuck Even on. Pat and Josh still got a, a, a small chance because they got the numbers and shit. They may be ain't doing it as well as what well, Josh ain't, but Pat has some low scoring games here and there, but he could still cut up and make it you, interesting. Kirk Cousins, he in it. And Joe Burrow. Kirk Cousins in it. Just because they record, they win it. Yeah. And Kirk Cousins, he in it. He just, I don't think he got the numbers like Pat and Josh or Joe. <laughs> He's my, he might be right behind him, though. He's slinging that bitch. Slinging that bitch, but... But Hurts, Hurts got the Look, numbers and the win. Shout out, man, DH, man, with the keep going clothing, too, you hear me? The Pelican shirt with B.I. on that thing. Baby girl. I don't know if y'all can see it, but... Too long. DH, look, we ain't even playing this, fuck. I just put, put the shirt on. Yeah. He threw some tie no. shirt on. That'll be for sale when this... When this this YouTube out. We had him in four different colors. DH, that's his Instagram. DH next up. Hit my man. Smoking sports, dude, baby. Take them we pics. Out. We be back next we week. Out.